What is up, my phantom friends? We are back with something that we haven't touched in a hot minute, and that is phantom memes. Now, I was going to do reacting to phantom TikToks because I've been getting requests for that for like months now, but um, either I just don't know how to navigate TikTok or they don't exist. So, um, y'all gonna have to send me some links or something because I looked under the hashtag. I, I don't know what I'm doing. So, um, we are going to visit our old friends, the Phantom of the Opera memes. And for those of you who really, um, enjoy my... Uh, reviews, don't worry. I have more of those coming. Um, they're just very time consuming to put together um, and to make sure that they're, you know, entertaining and funny. I just haven't felt very funny lately and maybe I'm just tired. I don't know. But, you know, how fun is a serious, well put together, constructed uh, review with the uh, good insights, you know, <laughs> so, um, it is coming, just be patient with me, I'm just tired, alright, let's get it, oh, here's a classic one, <laughs> think of May, have y'all ever seen the, um, Sierra Bogus, uh, performance where she is performing Think of Me in the style of Britney Spears. That is literally what it sounds like. It is the funniest thing I have ever heard. So go go look at that. I'll probably link it, honestly. Yeah, we, we see this one every May without fail. Okay, a little bit of context. This one uh, is a, a comment, actually, that was on, it was on a fan video um, of the song Hellfire from The Hunchback of Notre Dame, but um, with phantom clips, as people do, and somebody down in the comments writes, the two boners that almost burned down all of Paris. I can't watch the Phantom of the Opera without remembering that one time in high school when we had a spirit week and on our final day it was called Music of the Night because that was the theme of our homecoming dance. I was literally the only person at school who dressed up as Christine and everyone else was the Phantom. By lunch I had about 20 Phantoms serenading me and chasing me down the hallways. I, I'm gonna level with you here, spooky danger. I'm gonna file this under r slash that happened. Sorry. Liter it, it was literally a fan of the opera theme spirit day and nobody else dressed up as Christine. Yeah, I can hit the high note in fan of the opera. That's, that's kind of where most of us are at, to be perfectly honest. Oh, I guess this is supposed to describe um, how terribly they, they failed at uh, proper casting um, for the 04 movie. A 60-something multi-talented genius failed. 50. Who sings like an angel? Fail. And is hideously deformed? Fail. A helpless, naive little chorus girl? Check. Who has been taught to sing almost like an angel? Fail. Well, they got Raoul mostly right. <laughs> yeah. Charles Dance the Phantom was savage. <laughs> My god, the place really is haunted. What is that? <laughs> Small, innocent seeming person that is not actually pure at all. I'm not sure I understand this in any capacity. Does someone want to clue me in here? Isn't my house great? Someday this could all be yours. Wait, how about right now? Who does self no marriage proposals on the first date? I mean... An ugly face is a slippery slope that leads to dropping a chandelier on your enemies and riding the rope up. 
No fucking wonder Christine is so confused in the wandering child scene. When I found out that was a picture of Ramin in, in the film, I just... Because, like, in, in, in some versions, it's... Uh, far from my far-reaching gaze, and in others, it's far from my fathering gaze. This makes the fathering gaze version about a thousand times more creepy. The Phantom of the Opera is there inside my mind. No, seriously, the song has been stuck in my head for weeks. I'm pretty sure he's there. <laughs> Welcome to my world! We've got t-shirts. Soup. Dropping a chandelier in the middle of an opera because someone sat in my unassigned assigned seat is the level of pettiness I aspire to achieve. How I feel taking tests for either way you choose you can. <laughs> Me in every math class ever. This one got me triggered. <laughs> OMG, you're an opera singer? My favorite is Phantom. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. Whoever is blasting Phantom of the Opera down the hall will be drowned out for me bla blasting Les Miserables. There can only be one dominant Broadway production in this floor. This is what I imagine theater majors living in dorms behaving. <laughs> you know, I've never lived in a dorm. And I'm also not a theater major, I'm a music major. Um, but you know, we are on it about the uh, Tumblr post today. How to test if you don't need someone in your life. Watch Phantom of the Opera with them and wait and see if they side with the Phantom or Rowl. Best results if they root for Christine. Marry them if they ask, but where is the Daroka? Press F in chat to get the Daroga into a phantom film. How I feel in every class when we learn a new subject. <laughs> Far too many notes for my taste. Man, I haven't seen one of these in a good minute. I am a phantom. What the managers think I do. What Christine thinks I do. What Raoul thinks I do. <laughs> Can we just take a second to appreciate the fan artwork on that one. <laughs> what the fangirls think I eat. Oh, not, no. Not me. Hashtag not my phantom. What I think I do. What I really do. It's kind of an anticlimactic, um... Okay. Phantom <laughs> <laughs> this is at the windows. <laughs> I just appreciate the the fact that they didn't just use one particular phantom. They took the time to cut out faces of multiple <laughs> different phantoms. Is that the Fanta of the opera? Guys, you have no idea how many times I have had this tweeted at me. I mean... This has been sent to me on so many social media platforms. It's just ridiculous. I want to know where these were sold, if they will ever sell them again. This, this was a pun worth having. This is a 10 out of 10 pun, and I'm here for it. Society. Abuse Eric. Hate him. Shun him. Treat him with disgust, never teach him kindness or love. Eric becomes mentally unstable due to the abuse, became reclusive, abusive, kills people, and shows no remorse because literally he thought most people are as shitty as those he's met in his life previously anyway. So there's probably nothing wrong with eliminating their existence from the world. Society. Epilogue. In the movie, there is a horse who is presumably raised in darkness to walk a woman five foot, five feet to a boat one time. Does Ugly Stalker take care of the horse? Who feeds the horse? Who shovels his poop? I have lost sleep over this horse. 
Okay. Time to ruin the moment with facts. The horse's name was Caesar. He was stolen from the opera stables, but Eric brought him back. It's okay. The horse is okay. Y'all can y'all can sleep at night again. The front of the Christmas tree. The back of the Christmas tree. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that'll do it for Phantom Memes 3? 4? I don't know anymore. Bye! <laughs>